am. All right. Oh, you're videotaping it. I just this wanted to. Progress. This should be done by the end of the year. Oh my God. What needs to Look be top? Trying to. Oh, you're still. Oh my. It. Yes, you know what? Because I find with a photo, it doesn't capture. What needs to be worked on? But if you go oh, like this, oh my gosh, look at that copper pot. That looks like something mom had. Uh, are you truck. going by memory? <laughs> of course you are, Stephen. I know your brain, the way it works. <gasps> oh, that's neat. The way that reflects. Oh my gosh. Oh, this little mirror reflects what would be on the yes. wall over here. Yes. That's what I was just pointing at. Nothing's here by chance. Everything relates to one of Sherlock Holmes' ah. stories. Oh my gosh. Okay. This, for example, is from the story of the Devil's Foot, where at the end of the story, they took the poison and uh, it's in an envelope, and he takes it from the guy. So it's like a little souvenir from the Devil's Foot, and that's what the in the in the story it's been described as having the skull and crossbones. That's like the Victorian style skull and crossbones, and the envelope had the skull and crossbones and said "Radix pedis diabli." Is that something in Latin? Yeah, Devil's Foot. Ah! It's from the story of the Devil's Foot. Wow. Over here is a, in the newspaper, there's an article on Jack the Ripper. And this is the original illustration from the original uh, newspapers. And it has the body dead with the neck slit. If you turn it upside down and look at it. <laughs> you can see it says, Finding the Mutilated Body in Mitre Square. It has the original body. And if you look closer, it says, uh, with throat, um, there's something in the Lacerated? way there. Lacerated? Her abdominal cavity partly ripped out. Okay, um, that's enough. Yeah. I don't, I don't actually it like this names, kind of stuff. It has all the names of the people, the detectives who were on the case. It has addresses where the bodies were found, times they were found, all from the original, uh, newspaper reports. So wow. it ties into the whole Victorian theme. Oh. It's actually legible. Ooh -hoo. And music. Yeah, and this is exactly, anyone who can play the violin can look at it, and it's the real actual music notes. Of what song? Uh, I forget the name of the song, but it was in the story of the Mazarin Stone. Hey. So it's a specific song that was in the story of the Mazarin Stone. And what's this? Oh, this says uh, Mazarin Stone Still Missing, and this is the Times. And it's like the exact number of columns that was in the newspaper and everything. And the, the North Surrey Observer from the story of the retired color man. And here we have the evening news. And when you look really closely, you can see it says London, Tues London Thursday, November 3rd, 1898. And when you look up the evening news under the archive of that day, this is the exact cover of the front newspaper that day. It had this graphic here, that graphic there, and the exact number of columns. Oh so this gosh. is the real newspaper from that moment in time, which correlates with exact the time that he moved back in with Sherlock and the exact time that all these stories would have already taken place. Like, the chronology is spot on. There's no guesswork. Like, the time, like, it's Thursday in November. See, so they're dressing up a little more. It's getting colder. we got a fire burning in the stove. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So everything is, even This is uh, cool. The magnifying glass is making... This magnifying So did you recreate all this from your imagination? Oh, yeah. I, I want to learn how to Yeah, I just research everything. Now let's videotape this brain. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Necessary zoom. 